All right, so in this video, I am gonna cover how to program a Hobbywing XR10 Pro stock spec speed controller. And I will be using, I have the old Hobbywing Wi-Fi module that I will be using. Um, this would be the same for the OTA, which is Bluetooth as well. Um, just the connection to your phone is obviously uh, Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do, if you look on the side here of the speed controller, there's markings and you want to pull, plug the black wire in to the negative terminal on this port right here. And then you'll plug in your battery and turn the speed controller on. And from there, um, you'll want to establish the Bluetooth, or in my case, Wi-Fi link to the speed controller and enter the programming. All right, so here we are on my phone. I have an Android phone and you're gonna go into the settings here, connections and Wi-Fi. And you're going to look for a hobby wing, which should hopefully show up here. There it is. So you click on this hobby wing and you wait for this thing to connect. And it's going to say no internet connection. If you have the OTA programmer, then you'll be using Bluetooth instead of Wi-Fi. All right, so connected without internet. So then you can back out of here and you can go in to the Hobbywing app, which you can download from the Play Store if you don't have it. And you're gonna click this little broken chain in the upper right hand corner. And it connects that to that module. And now you can go into parameters for the speed controller. And the Wi Fi takes a little longer than the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth is quite a bit quicker. All right, and so at the top here, right here, for uh, stock racing, you're going to want to click the zero timing. For run mode, you can pick forward with brake or forward reverse with brake. Um, typically, when you race, the reverse is illegal. Um, so if you do pick reverse with brake, just make sure you don't use it when racing. Uh, it is nice sometimes to have that for practice. But for me, I'm going to do forward with brake. And then max reverse force. Since I'm not using reverse, it doesn't matter, but I would leave that alone. Voltage cutoff, I think auto is good. I'm going to leave mine there. Same with the thermal protection. In racing, some people will shut these off so they don't get a LVC or thermal during their race, but I'm gonna leave them. BC voltage, I'm gonna turn mine up to 7.4. Um, so all that does is provide more voltage to your servo um, and you'll get more torque and speed if you do that. And I like to have those. So I run at 7.4. Remote off enabled. So if you hold your brake for a, I can't remember, I think it's like seven seconds. Um, I'll have to confirm that. But if you hold your brake for an extended period of time, it'll shut your speed controller off. And you can use that at the end of your race. For now, I'm going to leave that enabled. If you're using reverse, 
you probably want to turn that off. Sensor mode, um, there's full sensor, actually there's just full sensor, I'm going to leave it at that. Throttle rate controller, I'm, I haven't played with that too much, I'm just going to leave that alone. I like linear throttle, so I'm going to leave that the way it is. Um, you can use this in stock to make your car feel a little bit punchier. You can do an exponential curve. But for now, I'm going to leave that linear. Neutral range, I'm going to leave alone. Coast, I do not like running coast. The drive frequency, so it defaults to 2K. The higher the number, the smoother the car will feel. So for... Since this is a stock speed control, it helps to feel punchier if you're at the lower numbers, but they do, the motor can run hotter. So for now, I'm going to leave my drive frequency at 2K. Um, I do not like using these softening uh, features, so I'm going to leave those at zero. I'm running on carpet high traction so like a drag brake is really important for this speed controller i'm going to start out at 25 percent i haven't used this speed controller yet so i may have to tweak that max brake force i like to set mine to 100 percent and then use the epa and the radio if it's too much so we'll leave that at 100 Initial brake force, if you're using drag brake, you want to have that to be drag brake. Um, rate, brake rate control, I have not played with that too much. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave it linear. And again, these stock speed controls can sometimes not have a super strong brake, so I'm going to leave this frequency at 1K. Um, and then timing down here, you know, you can't, the boost timing, uh, for stock, we're going to leave that alone. Um, so that's, that's it. So then, um, that's all the settings I'm going to use. So then we hit save and you say yes here and it loads this to your speed controller. And that, that is all she wrote for programming your speed controller. I hope you guys find this video useful. And if you do, please like and subscribe.